Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are looking at more of the Great Ape units that just got an EZA. So today we are going to look at the Raditz Giant Ape that just got his EZA, mine is Rainbowed. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a look at his passive, uh, we will look at the team build, and then we'll jump into the showcase. So his leader skills, all types, key 4, all stats 50%, not really something you're ever going to use there. Um, his super attack, he greatly stacks attack and defense for one turn, does supreme damage. His passive, attack and defense 80%, plus 15% attack and defense per key sphere obtained, plus an additional 80% when performing a super if HP is 80% or less. And then, once again, he just has a chance to turn into the Great Ape. He has the exact same Great Ape effect as the Goku. He gets two key while in that form. And then he uh, massively raises attack temporarily and causes destructive damage with a medium chance of stunning. So we're going to hop in and take a look at this Raditz on Space Traveling Warriors. So I basically just flooded this thing with support to get the best out of him. Um, this Tora is actually a really good unit to run with him because um, Tora shares five links with him, including uh, the Saiyan Roar link, which is a very, very powerful link. The Saiyan War Link is a 25% attack link, so very, very good to have that there. Um, I'm going to have some turns where he's linked with Tora, and I might have some where he's linked with the Int Raditz, because he also links very well with Int Raditz. And then I'm, you know, floating Toa, because I use her all the time. By the way, I'm going to do a video. I, I was going to do it tonight, but I didn't realize the Grade 8 units were coming out tonight. So sometime within the next week or so, I am going to put out a video on why the Dragon Ball Heroes stuff coming up is so important and um, why I think you should save for that banner. This Toa is a prime example of that. If you've watched any of my showcases, she is everywhere. Like, I use her all the time for showcases. She's one of the better support units in the game still to this day, and she is from that Dragon Ball Heroes banner. So um, I'm going to talk about that units and units like her that make that banner worth it. Um, and then I'm just, yeah, I've got a Bojack rotation I'm going to run as my other attack rotation with the in Bojack, um, and then I'm just going to be floating support. So let's hop in. So we got a very nice rotation turn one, right? So there he is, five out of seven links, including Saiyan Roar. Um, my links, by the way, are kind of mid-level linked. Um, if we look, uh, 111k defense, but he does get stats on orb, right? And he does get boosted on super if um, we're under 80%. So we're going to try to get that in the video as well. Now, just like my uh, Goku video I just did, um, if we don't get the ape transformation, I'm not going to fret over it, but I'm hoping we get it for at least one of the units, okay? So after grabbing four orbs, his defense shoots up to 150k, which is respectable, right? Um, and he does get a massive raise on super, so it's going to go up again even after that. So if you get a bunch of orbs, like turn one, he's looking pretty good defensively. Uh, okay, about two and a half mil. That's about where we saw Goku turn one. So, um, the thing with Raditz is he doesn't stack... Uh, infinitely, but he does stack uh, per turn. So there he shot up to 2.6 on the second attack. Very nice there. I mean, I'm going to tell you this. Like, none of these Great Ape units are going to blow you away right away, but considering, like, what they were and what they are now, they are very usable, and they are all units that uh, help teams that desperately need it, and they're underrepresented unit names in the game. So um, I am all for it. Uh, I'm very happy with these so far and um i think they're just great units for people to have let's look at int bojack by the way yeah <laughs> um do not underestimate int lr bojack six mil turn one and uh this man still has an easy a coming at some point he is gonna be just nasty when he gets an easy a um i might uh i think i will i think in this video I am going to link my old Int LR Bojack showcase. It was back before I had that many sub subscribers, so I think it has very low views, but I think that Bojack deserves more love. So I'm going to link my showcase. That Int Bojack like carried my Space Traveling Warriors run for the mission for Legendary GT Goku event, and I actually get my complete in that showcase. So I, I'm going to link that there, and if you want to check that out, um, it's a very good watch. Like that Bojack, because I'm not going into the video like, oh yeah, Int Bojack is going to save me. He just impressed the heck out of me throughout that video, right? All right, so let's see how we're looking here with Strength Raditz. 100k defense. Once again, I have not grabbed orbs yet. What do we got for orbs here? I'm going to have to put him in slot one. But let's see here. So five out of seven there. So in the middle, oh my gosh, we get all seven. Um, so I'm going to leave him on with Raditz, I think. 
because that's what I want as his main linking partner. And then what we will do is we will get a turn later on when I can put him in the middle and also get Saiyan Roar. So this is without Saiyan Roar. So I think his attack stat's going to maybe not be quite so good here. We'll see. So let's grab six orbs. And with six orbs, 139k defense. Once again, he does get a massive raise. I think that's a 50% raise on super. I would have to look it up on the wiki. Um, but he does get more defense on super. Okay, about two and a half mil again. Not too shabby, not too shabby. And once again, um, he has a lot of attack on the table. Uh, once we get to under 80%, that attack stat is going to really, really shoot up, right? So, obviously, with the Goku I already did the video on, like, he's, like, in a long event, he's definitely going to look more impressive. But this Raditz, like, he doesn't need to stack. So, like, turn one, it's, it's just all a matter of, like, the orbs you're getting, right? And this Raditz, by the way, is on Goku family. So, I'll tell you about it in one second here. Um... I'm just going to do in Bojack right here. And watch in Bojack just incinerate this Goku. He's probably going to one-shot. Actually, guys, i got to be paying attention to my orbs so I can set up for Raditz. Although, if I'm one-shotting, it's not going to matter here. Yeah, about 6 mil again. So, the sneaky thing you can do, though, with this Great Ape Raditz, if you want to. Uh, GT Physical Goku runs Goku Family as another leader skill. And Raditz is a Goku Family member. Uh, we... A lot of people might forget that Raditz is Goku's brother, right? So even though he's a villain, he is Goku family. Um, so you could run him on a team with two orb changers floating around, and we could probably make this Raditz look pretty nasty there, right? All right, so uh, let's see. Raditz here. Yeah, five out of seven links. We're going to put him in slot one. We're going to we're gonna look at him type disadvantage here, and I'm going to be okay taking some damage because I want to get under 80%. So we're going to be looking at seven orbs. So let's grab seven orbs. Seven orbs, yeah, 160k defense. He gets more on super, so we'll see what he's taking here. Uh, Ant Raditz is going to do that, and we're going to do out toll. All right, let's see what happens here. We're definitely going to take damage. Okay, double digit normals is good, about 2.6, okay. All right, and then 2.9. I mean, when the additionals come through, man, that attack shoots up. He's almost at 3 mil there. Okay. All right, so we didn't get supered, so we didn't get to see anything crazy there. But, yeah, I mean, his numbers are going to kind of, they're just going to kind of sit in this range. So what I'm gathering, obviously, it's going to depend on how many orbs you grab. But I'm seeing Raditz as a 150 to 160 pre-super attack, right? Um, he's going to get more, so he's probably looking about 200k or more on super. And then his attack stat's looking to be in a 2.5 to 3-ish mil range. Um, hopefully we can get a turn here where we, where we can grab a lot of orbs. And I want to get a turn with uh, Tora. My bad on not... Well, yeah, I I, I should have put orb changing items in my in my um, item slots. And I, I just didn't even think to do that. So that's my bad there. Because it would be nice to do like a full field and like really let him go crazy. Um, if I'm feeling up to it, maybe I'll do a cut at the end and do that. But let's see if I can just like set up and naturally get a big field of orbs here. Something kind of decent. That's the thing, too, though. Like, if you think about it, like, for a showcase, like, it, you know, how often are you going to run him in a hard event and be like, all right, I'm bringing orb changing items. So it's not, like, realistic anyway. So it's maybe not a, the biggest deal if I don't use orb changing items here anyways. We're getting more of, like, a natural look, right? All right. So now I'm really excited, by the way, for that AGL Torad at some point EZA, which we, I know he will. Like, he's... He's already a good supporter. He's got the Saiyan Roar link. It's just going to be like ridiculous for all these giant eight power units. Okay, so we got another turn of Bojack here. 100, yeah, 100k defense. Um, what can we grab? Six? Six. Six is the orbage we've got here. Six orbs. Okay. All right, we'll just grab six orbs. And then we are back to, yeah, about 150k defense. So that's kind of like the range. 150 to 160 range is what we're getting on average. So this is a good look just to see kind of like average numbers, right? without using artificial orb changing. And now you might be asking, well, why didn't you just run the GT Goku? And it's like, well, GT Goku's leader skill is only a 150 for Goku family. And for my showcases, I do like to get units on full 170 teams. And the fact that like both Raditzes and the Tora were on Space Traveling Warriors, that was just like a perfect fit for me. Cause like I said, Tora like links ridiculous with them and he's supporting um, and has Saiyan Roar. So, what I might do is the next time Tora comes around, if I'm going to do more rotations, I might keep Tora on rotation with them to see what he's looking like with Tora every turn. Like if you ran them as a rotation. Let's see here. All right. So we'll just, yeah. And Bojack's going to keep going crazy. It would be really nice, not going to lie. Um, 
Oh, wait, I'm under 80%. Okay, okay, that's good. I was going to say, if we could take some damage, but I didn't notice. We actually are under 80%. Okay, so that's good. So, Raditz should be looking a little bit better. Oh, shoot, I was trying to save those for him, but uh, Toa's going to get him. But that actually worked out. We got a really nice field of orbs there. What I'm going to be curious about, though, is if I were to heal up on his turn, if I would lose that 80% or if that triggers on start. Oh, darn it, we killed him. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised it was in Bojack. So we lost our nice field of orbs, but uh, this is going to be my really nice turn here. Um, yeah, so we're going to have all seven links. I'm going to keep him in the middle to get all seven links. 100k defense once again. Um, seven orbs. Okay, it looks like seven orbs is what we're going to get. I kind of don't want to mess it up. So here's what I'm going to have to do. Because I'm going to keep him on rotation with Tora because I want to keep that Saiyan Roar going. I'm just going to use a Whis here and just make sure that we don't get killed. All right, and Raditz, we're going to get seven orbs. Very good. With seven orbs... We're at 160k defense, kind of in that range, right? Alright, we are we have to be careful. We're almost at 80%, but we're fine here. So, this attack stat should be very good because we're getting an extra 80% on super. So, let's see what happens here. Boy, this is just crazy, though, that I'm not getting any great ape transformations in these videos. Because I'll tell you guys what. I've been, uh, hold on, let's get the attack stat here. Oh, oh, wow, 5.5! Holy cow. And that wasn't like artificial from orbs. Like I only got seven orbs. You can see I was averaging what? Probably five to six to seven orbs per turn. Um, so that power came from two things. <laughs> it came from Saiyan Roar and it came from that extra 80%. Because here's the thing, guys. That 80% is an out of turn buff or whatever. So it, it calculates in much stronger than that. So dude, if you're under 80%, that Raditz is putting up some numbers. So that physical Goku wasn't putting up those 5 mil attack stats. That is for sure. So Raditz is definitely the powerhouse. If you get under 80%, wow, that was very impressive there. Um, okay, and look at, by the way, in Bojack, guys, 300k defense. Seriously. <laughs> uh, this dude did not age at all. Like, he is very good. Um, I'm going to try not to heal too much here, actually. I, I want to stay under 80%. Okay, and we missed the Dokkan attack, which is good, because that would have healed us up too much. Look at Int Bojack. He's got to be, what, three, three and a half, four years old? Something crazy. And look at these numbers, man. This is Link Level Update. And so two things help this Int Bojack. Link Level Update, and then also getting Strength Bojack to have that perfect linking partner. That's what helped him so much. It's all in his links, man. Because his passive is very simple. <laughs> It's just like attack and defense plus like 80% or something. And then he gets more based on health. Pretty crazy. Alright. So yeah, he's got it all stacked in his uh, in his links there. So, oh, we got an ape. There we go. Oh, but it's Tora. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> really, you're going to finally give me an ape transformation and you give me the non-easy aid unit. Fantastic. Thank you, Dokkan. Thank you for making this showcase so lovely for me. I just love it. I just love it. This is great. So yeah, we're just going to sit here and do like no damage. Now, are we going to wrap right into a Raditz? And here's the thing. Like, you have to be careful when you're in grade 8 mode because it can mess up your rotation. So like, right now you see three Toras on the screen. But if you actually like move them around, you're actually, the there's a unit hiding underneath that. Like, the game is just masking your units right now. So if you move these around, you're actually messing up your rotation. So I'm just going to leave them in place and hope that my rotations are unaffected. Um, we'll see. We shall see. Um, and I believe the way it's going to work out is we should exit Grade Ape on the next turn, and we should pop back up with that same Tora rotation. We just got to hope that my Raditz isn't, like, off rotation here. Hopefully it's all together. It should be. I don't think it would change the rotations on me. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that five and a half mil attack stat, that was impressive. Um, I really hope we get Raditz next turn because we're about to hit a Dokkan attack and we're going to heal up. So let's see here. All right, good. We got our rotation back. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So we're just going to put Raditz right here in slot one. 124k defense. Okay. I, I'm not going to grab the strength orbs. Otherwise, we're going to heal up too much. Okay, so we're going to get a really big, bad Dokkan attack here, guys. This is going to be a big, bad Dokkan attack. All right, what's the attack stat on Raditz? How how crazy is this here? Now, I didn't grab as many orbs this time. 
Okay, 3.78. So I didn't think about that, but my orb setup wasn't as good. But 3.78 still not bad considering I grabbed, what, like one or two orbs there? And um, we'll see how much Goku takes here. If we crit, we're definitely taking them out. For sure, we're taking Goku out on a crit here. And then hopefully next turn I can take some damage again. I kind of want to play around with this Raditz a little bit more. All right, Goku's out of here. The problem with my team build is I've got some very, very weak units. Um, okay, let's just do this. And I'm just going to go no items here and see what happens. going to try and save myself. Try to. Save myself some orbs for Raditz. Let's see here. Uh, Bojack, I think it's going to be okay here. Oh, I guess not. Okay, so Bojack, since we're at full health, he had less defense. So Bojack's interesting in that... Um, so in a previous video, I said I really don't like units that like scale attack and defense off of like their health. Bojack is an exception to that. I actually like the way his passive is set up. His passive is set up if he has more health, he gets more attack. If he has less health, he gets more defense. So like in any situation, he's gaining something valuable. What I don't like is like that physical... Uh, easy a Goku free to play that we just got where like he only gets stronger based on like if his health is low and um, he doesn't get anything better he just gets weaker if you have more health I don't like that uh oh are we gonna die pretty dark close there it is oh there it is we got Raditz okay so in general guys too this is how great ape transformations can help you out because they get you out of situations like this where we would have been a dead duck on this turn but now we get one to two free turns here all right um, can we check defense? All right, for, well, I guess defense doesn't matter. Look at that. Look at this sick team build, guys. The full Great Ape Rainbow team build. Very good. Same name update. Coming in clutch, right? Same name update. <laughs> All right. Now, right now, the orb stacking doesn't do anything. So we'll do a normal attack. Let's get a special attack with that one and a special attack with that one. Let's see what this Raditz does. What kind of attacks are we going to get there? All right, so, so not, nothing much there from the normal. What's the super attack going to do? Only a mill. Yeah, they really didn't get much. Like, they're not still not really doing damage in this form. I think Dokkan, like, really values the fact that, like, you're not taking damage. And so they really don't, like, they're too afraid to make these great apes too good while in transformed state. Now, having the stun is nice because, like, when we come out of it, if we leave with a stun on, I don't know if it's a two-turn stun or not. I would imagine it would have to be. Because stunning would be pointless otherwise. Because if you go going to stun for one turn, you're invincible anyways. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to try to leave that fat stack of strength orbs for Raditz. Um, if he pops up. Because he should pop up when we exit the transformation. Um, but yeah, here's the thing. What they're doing is they're trying to say, Okay, we won't make your grade 8 that strong. Because you can't take damage. But the problem is, is I'm doing so little damage that it's not really helping me. Like, we're not taking that much off of Goku here, unless we crit, like, every time, but we're not. So it's honestly just kind of, like, wasting my time, because it's taking me longer. Whoa, we got a three-turn Great Ape transformation. Wow, three turns, okay. That's pretty rare, actually. Kind of unfortunate, because now I'm going to lose my red orbs I was trying to save. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I was trying to save these for, like, the normal rats. Now we got to eat them up. And the bad part is, is we don't heal on that. So, because when you're in Great Ape, since you don't take damage, you don't heal either. That's unfortunate. All right, well. I So, here's my assumption, guys. Because, like I said, I don't know that I'm going to get transformations in, in my other videos. I did not get it in the Goku one. They all are basically the same Great Ape. And all mine are rainbowed. So, I would assume you can expect the same out of all of them, right? They're all going to have that medium chance to stun. Um, and they're all going to do about 900k to a million damage on super attack. That's pretty much just what you're going to expect. So we'll grab this as the last turn for Raditz, I guess. Um, sure, two orbs. Very low defense there with only two orbs. We will just, uh, sure, let's just heal up. All right, and we'll make this the last turn. I think we've pretty much seen everything Raditz has to offer here. I'm just going to say, like... So far from what I'm seeing from these great ape units is they're good, like they're solid, right? They're not like game breaking, they're not like best easy in the game, but there we are back over four mil. Raditz though, when you're under 80%, like this Raditz is hitting impressively hard. I have a feeling Raditz is gonna be the hardest hitter, but we'll take a look at Vegeta with big bad bosses. He might compare, we'll see. Um, 
But yeah, let me know what you think of these great up units. I, I, I'm still excited for them. I still think they're very good units. Like I said, they don't blow you away, but they're good enough to use in today's meta. And they, like I said, they're not very commonly named units and they definitely buff teams that need it. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.